This is your homework helper, Mrs. Anderson. Today I will help you with lesson 10, multiply by two digit numbers. Please have your homework page ready and let's begin. Okay, on our homework helper, it reminds us of how to do the strategy, so let's take a look. Alicia lives in Nashville, Tennessee. Last year, her family drove to Atlanta, Georgia. Each Oh, last year, her family drove to Atlanta, Georgia each month to visit her grandmother. Find the total distance they drove to visit her grandmother for the year. So, they went 498 miles, and we're going to times it by 12 since they went each month. So, I need to multiply in the ones place first. So I'm going to do 8 times 2 equals 16. I can only put one digit in the ones place, so I'll need to carry the 1 up here to the tens place. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 1 is 19. I'll put that in the tens place and carry the 1 up there to the hundreds place. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Okay, I've now done the ones place, so I really don't need that number anymore. And basically, I can teach myself to ignore it, but for right now, I'll cross it out. i am also used these ones when I was doing the ones place, so I'm going to get rid of them. Okay, now I'm multiplying in the tens place. You know that when I multiply a number by ten, there's a zero at the end. So I can basically do a basic fact and then add the zero that comes at the end of ten. So I'll put my zero down here first, and now I'll multiply. 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 9 is 9, and 1 times 4 is 4. Now I'm going to add these numbers together. And I have 5,976, and I'll put the comma in. Okay, so those are the steps. I multiply the 1s, then I multiply the 10s, and then I add. Okay, so... Uh, let's do this one. It says to estimate. We're not going to estimate, and we're not going to check your answer with estimation. All we're going to do is multiply. So I will do one more here with you. Let's take a look. 19 times 15. I'm going to do the ones column first. 9 times 5 is 45. So I'll put my ones digit down, and my tens digit will go up here to the tens column. 1 times 5 is 5, plus 4 is 9. Okay, I'm finished with the ones column now. So I'm going to get rid of the 5, and I'm also going to get rid of the 4. And now I'm multiplying in the tens column. When I multiply by a tens number, okay, the number 10, there is a 0 at the end, so I'll put the 0 here. 1 times 9 is 9, and 1 times 1 is 1. Then I'll add it up, and my answer is 285. Okay, you'll do the same thing on this one, on number 2. When you get to number 3... Sometimes it's easier to write it in a row, but it's not easier to solve when it's written in a row. So when it's written, written in a row, you need to rewrite the problem so it's in, a, it's in columns. And then just solve it, just like you did these. This one has a hundreds column, so after you do the ones, then you'll do the tens, then you'll do the hundreds. Then you can get rid of the six. And you'll multiply in the tens column, so you'll put a zero down here, since you're multiplying by tens. And that five represents 50, so I'm putting the zero right here. Then I'll do five all times by the ones column, all times by the tens column, and all times by the hundreds column. Once I do that, I'll add the numbers together. All right, let's take a look at the other side. Number four, Ms. Jenkins was arranging chairs for a school awards assembly. Each row contained 15 chairs. If there were 20 rows, how many chairs had to be arranged? Well, there are 15 chairs, and there are 21 rows. Uh, each row had 15 chairs, and there's 21 rows. So I'll need to multiply those two numbers to figure out how many chairs had to be arranged. Multiply those two numbers together. Let's look at number five. Leon earns $14 an hour. How much does he earn in four weeks if he works 12 hours each week. Okay, what I'm going to need to do first, I need to find out how many hours he's working. Well, he works for four weeks and 12 hours in each of those weeks. So I need to multiply 12 times 4 first to find out how many hours he worked in all. 
Well, 4 times 12 is 48, so I'll write this over here to the side. And now I'll multiply by the 14 hours to see how much money he earned during that time. We're looking at number 6. Without actually calculating how much, how much greater is the product of 98 times 50 than the product of 97 times 50. If I look at this, 98 times 50 and 90, 97 times 50, I know that this means I'm timesing by 50 97 times. And this one means I'm multiplying by 50 98 times. Since 98 is one more than 97, I know that I'm multiplying by 50 one more time greater, one more time on this one, 98 times 50, than I am on this one, which tells me that this answer here is going to be 50 times greater than this answer, and I could figure it out without even working it out. Okay, the table shows Katrina's prices for dog walking. If she walks five medium-sized dogs and eight medium-sized dogs for 12 weeks, how much will she earn? Okay, you're going to have to figure out how much it will cost for her to walk five medium dogs and eight large dogs in one week. Okay, so you'll need to take, here we go, medium and large, add those two numbers together. Then after you multiply those numbers together, then you can multiply by 12 to show how much she earned in 12 weeks. This will show how much she earned in one week. When you times by 12, it'll show how much she earned in 12 weeks. Okay, number eight. Each day there are 12 tours at the gas factory, glass factory. 28 people can go on a tour. How many people can tour the glass factory each day? So it looks like there's 12 tours and 28 people can go on a tour. So if I multiply 12 times 28, I'll know how many people can go in one day. Thanks for watching this homework helper video. If you have questions, feel free to ask me tomorrow at school.